Regarding the motor system examination of the nervous system, really the motor system consists of general uh, inspection and palpation, this is the first, and then uh, assessment of the tone, power, reflexes, and lastly coordination. In the first step, uh, really, the inspection and palpation, one uh, should uh, pay particular attention to the body position of the patient, and then for any involuntary movements, and lastly for the muscle bulk. First of all, we have to check the position of the patient because we have many neurological uh, uh, positions. For example, decorticate posture, abnormal flexion posture, I mean, and disregrade posture, which is called also abnormal extensor uh, posture. This is one. Uh, the next step should be to look for any abnormal movement. Abnormal movement may take the form of uh, fasciculation. Fasciculation are twitches or ripples on the skin of atrophied uh, muscle, especially look for them of the deltoid, quadriceps, and calves. And you can enhance them by flickering over the muscle and flickering here over the muscle and over the calves. This is with respect to the fasciculation. Fasciculation could be normal or could be or could be abnormal. Uh, abnormal movement also may take the form of resting a tremor, dystonia, uh, choreoathetosis or choreoathetosis, uh, hemibalism or ballistic movement, or may take the form the patient may have akathesia, which is a feeling of uh, uh, internal restlessness. After that, you have to check the muscle bulk. Uh, you have to check whether the muscle is uh, atrophied, wasted, normal, or hyperatrophied. If it is hyperatrophied, really, we have two types. Uh, the hypertrophy may be either uh, true hypertrophy, in which the bulk and the strength, both of them are increased, while pseudo hypertrophy in which the bulk is increased while the strength is uh, decreased. Uh, pay special or particular attention at the inter OCI here at the spaces of the metacarpal and at the hypothenar and thinner muscle that should be uh, concave. Any muscle really can be wasted or atrophied. Check bilaterally. And also you have to palpate the muscle, especially of the proximal shoulder girdle and of the pelvic uh, girdle. This is uh, because certain muscle disease, for example, in, in case of myositis, the muscle will be uh, tender. And in case of uh, uh, rhabdomyolysis, the muscle may become uh, firm in character. Uh, in addition to that, patient with pseudohypertrophy may have uh, a feeling of uh, dewy muscles. Uh, if there is any wasting in the muscle, you have to check uh, the process, whether it is uh, focal or it is uh, global. Uh, this is also important because, uh, and if it is also global, you have to check whether the process is proximal or uh, distal. Really, the uh, proximal muscle weakness are usually uh, myopathic in uh, uh, as an underlying cause, while distal muscle weakness are usually neuropathic as an underlying cause.